see. Are you okay over there, honey? Yeah, I'm okay, Dad. Just looking for my coloring book. Behind the couch? Yeah, but I can't seem to find them. Do you know where they are? Hmm, let's see. If I were to, say, pick up a bunch of coloring books that I found on the kitchen floor after someone was playing with them, where do you suppose I might put them? I don't know, Dad. Where would they be? Well, I think if I found them and picked them up, I put them away where they belong on the bookshelf. What do you think? Well, that seems like a pretty good place to check. Hello? Z Monster Residence? This is Dad speaking. Oh, Uncle Zorb, how are you? Great. Oh, you're coming to town, you say? Huh. Well, that's great. You'll finally get to meet little Z. Five o'clock at the train station? Oh, all right. Hold on a minute. Hey, Z! Will you please bring some pen and paper over here with you? Okay, Dad. Here you go, Dad. Thank you, my dear. You got it, Dad. Okay. What did you need then, Uncle Zorb? Down below the mountains, past the swamps and the trees, there's a little monster village they call it Creature Creek. It's a full moon there forever, and it's always Halloween. The bats all sing together, and the scarecrows light the streets. It's a place you gotta be if you wanna have fun. So come down to Creature Creek where you find the time. It's full of friendly monsters, the way to stay. Welcome to Creature Creek. Now enjoy your day. Yep. Uh huh. Got it. All right. See you soon, Uncle Zorb. All right, Z. Look sharp. Yep. Your Uncle Zorb is coming to town and will be at the train station at 5 o'clock. Do you think you can pick him up? Of course I can do it, Dad. Fantastic. But since you'll be in town, I've got a list of important things I need you to get before he gets here. Do you think you can do it? Sure, Dad. All right. Let's go through each item on the list, one at a time, then. We need you to... One. Stop by Ant Eater's Gym. He has socks big enough for Uncle Zorb's huge feet. Oh, well, how big are his feet? Well, I said they were huge, but I bet he could kick a soccer ball right into space. His feet are so big. Wow. So, Anteater has his socks. Okay, what's next then? Two. Then talk to Nelson the Nag. He has a hairbrush sturdy enough to brush Uncle Zorb's fur. Got it. So, he has a lot of fur, huh? Yep. He has so much fur that you could hide in it if you wanted. Oh, my. Well, what's next on the list? Three. Stop by the Magical Otter Pharmacy and pick up some allergy potions. Otherwise, Uncle Zorb could sneeze the whole house down. Yikes. He could sneeze the whole house down? Yes, dear. Uncle Zorb is a big, big monster. The biggest I've ever seen, and his sneeze could just blow the whole house down, right to the foundation. Whoa. Well, Uncle Zorb sounds kind of scary, Dad. Well, some monsters might think that about others, Z, but I love your Uncle Zorb, no matter how he looks or sneezes. Now, we got to get you going, but you're too young to go around town all by yourself, and I've got to go to work. Is your brother around? I think he's headed to the park to play soccer, though. Oh, okay. Well, you ask him nicely for his help, and you guys can play after you get your chores done. Ah, uh, after? That's right. It's important to get all your chores done before you take time to relax and play, Z. It's part of having responsibilities. Oh, okay, Dad. You got it. You and Uncle Zorb can count on me. Good. Now remember to take the Frisch phone with you, too, in case of emergencies. The Frisch has it over there. Okay! Hi, Mr.
Mr. Fresh? Come on, little Zuri. What can I help you with, Zuri? Dad says I need to borrow the Fresh phone in case of emergencies. May I please take it with me? Wobble the corpse. Here we go, Wobble. Thanks, Mr. Fresh. Bubble, Wobble, Miss Zuri. Hold your horse until Wobble, Wobble. If you need help at all while you're out and about, get the Fresh phone and call me. Thanks. I'll make sure to call you if I run into any sort of trouble. Splendid, Miss Zuri. Wobble, give a shot to the Wobble, then. Have fun. Thanks, Mr. Fresh. I'll see you later. Dad, I'm ready to go. Great. Have a great day, and be careful, hon. I love you. I love you too, Dad. Bye! <laughs> Hey Sam! 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 Hey Sam! Oh, oh, hi there Z. Sorry, I was just really jamming out to some music. What's up? Uh, Uncle Zorb is coming to visit, and he needs a lot of things from around town. I was hoping you could come with me to get them. Hmm, maybe. I was on my way to the park to go play ball. Hey, you want to go to the park instead? Oh, uh, I wish. But Dad said we have to complete the list before I go to the park. Well, okay. Where do you have to go? Let's see. The gym, Nelson's Hardware, and then the pharmacy. Perfect. The park is right by the pharmacy. We could always stop by after we're done. Hmm. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Of course. We'll only be a minute. Come on. Let's go to the gym. Come on, Auntie. Early bird gets thanked. Early bird. Hey, hey Auntie. Woo. <laughs> Hiya, Z. Zap, what's shaking? Other than all this bacon. <laughs> Not too much, Auntie. Just on a little mission. What about you? Well, you know me. I'm always working toward a better self. Ha! Flex! But, what's this about a mission? Uh, Uncle Zorb is coming to visit, and I need to get all the things on this list before he gets here. Uh, Dad said you would have some socks for him? Ah, old Zorby, huh? Man, he was an absolute beast in the gym. Why, he was so big, I bet he could lift a whole building if he wanted to. Oh, well, Dad said he was big and strong, but that big and that strong? Here, you tell me. Let me go find those socks. Hey, Zap. Have you met Uncle Zorb before? Just once, but I was really young. I just remember that the ground shook beneath him, and even Dad sure couldn't even hold him. Oh. Should I be worried, then? I'm afraid if he's so big that he could smush little old me. Well, don't worry, Z. It's like Dad always say. A monster's a monster, big or small, short or tall. So, you're saying that it doesn't matter how big he is. I, I shouldn't be scared of him. Right. That's about the size of it. Get it? No. Sorry. Here you go. See? Two jumbo giant socks. Extra elastic. Helps the fur breathe. Uncle Zorb would wear those playing basketball. He didn't even have to jump to dunk. Whoa, cool. All right, if that's all you needed, then I'm back to the grind. Yep. 694, 695, 696, 697. I think that's that's it. Thanks for your help, Auntie. Anytime, you two. Now go out and be the best you can be. Okay. okay. All right. What's next on our list, Z? Well, let's see. One, get socks at the gym. Check. Two, find Nelson the Nag and get a hairbrush. It looks like we have to find Nelson the Nag now. Oh, I know where we can find Nelson. Come on, follow me. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Nelson. Oh, Z, Zap, it's nice to see you, but I'm quite busy at the moment. Nice to see you too, Nelson. What's got you all worked up, though? 
Oh, it's nothing. It's just that every morning I rake these leaves up and throw them away over there in the alley. But the next morning, they're all right back in front of my store again. Hmm, that's really weird. What do you think, Z? Hmm, I'm not sure. Well, I'm sure you didn't come here to help me pick up leaves. What can I do for you? Uh, Zap and I are running around town getting things for Uncle Zorb, uh, who's coming to visit. And Dad said that you'd have a big enough hairbrush for him. I see. Hmm, Uncle Zorb, huh? Yeah, he always did need a big old rake to get through his fur. But I've only got this one right now. And, as you can see, I have lots of leaves I need to take care of. Oh, well, um, if we helped you take care of the leaves, would you need the rake anymore? Not today, I wouldn't. But what happens when they're all right back on my doorstep tomorrow morning? I just don't think I could do without it. Hmm. What if we go over to the alley together, then and figure out who or what is putting the lease back out at night? Oh, that's so kind of you. But didn't you have other places to be going? Yeah, but don't worry. We'll always have time to help a friend. Besides, Uncle Zorba will really need that rake. Come on, let's go. All right! All right. See? Just over here. I pile all the leaves here, and somehow they always end up in the square in front of my store. You don't think the wind could be blowing them away? No, no. I put them as far back as I can. Out of everybody's way. Not everybody's way. <laughs> hey, why the frightful faces? We live in a town of monsters, and no one has ever snuck up and said boo to you before? Well, I suppose you got us with the oldest trick in the book, huh? Seems that way, kid. Now tell me, why are a bunch of home dwellers scooping up leaves and dropping them on my beautiful slice of a valley? Oh, so you're the one that keeps pushing these leaves into the square. Hey, buddy, people are trying to walk there. And I'm trying to keep a nice open yard here. You know, I'm all about the feng shui, don't you know? This from the monster with the dumpster in his yard. Besides, this can't be your yard. This is my yard. This is you, you can't just do that. Hey, Zap. What's that? These two sure seem upset. Do you think there's a way to solve this whole leaf problem? I'm not sure. What do you think, Z? Well, maybe if they work together and use Swampy's dumpster, they could hold a leaf somewhere else and get rid of them for good. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. If they work together instead of arguing with each other, they can solve this problem. Hey guys, listen, Z has a great solution. Okay, kid. What's your idea then? Well, Mr. Swampy, maybe if you two work together and use Nelson's rake to fill the dumpster with the leaves, uh, you could haul the leaves somewhere better. Work together? I don't know about that, kid. I, this guy's been littering all over my lawn for weeks now. And he's been dirtying my storefront all that time, too. But don't you see? If you work together, you'll never have to worry about the lease again. Well, I am sick of raking these leaves. Plus, then you could have a rake for Uncle Zorb's fur. I didn't even think of that. That works perfect for us, though. Well, come on, we'll help you out. All right, kid, that should be all of them. Thanks for your help. Yeah, thanks, Z and Zap. Here, I won't need this rake now. Take it and say hello to Uncle Zorb for me. You're welcome, guys, and thank you for the rake, Nelson. Thanks, Nelson. All right, then. You two better be on your way. Right. Bye, Nelson. Bye, Swampy. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. So we got the hairbrush. What's next, Z? Well, let's see. The hairbrush was number two on the list. So next is number three, the allergy potion from the Magical Otters Pharmacy. Okay, and then we can go to the park, right? Yeah, I think so. Hey, what's that? It's the fresh phone ringing. Let's see what he has to say. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Frisch. Hello, Mr. Frisch. Hello, little Julian Zap. How's it going hunting over the her Uncle Zorb? Great! We just got the hairbrush and are headed to the Magical Otter Pharmacy. What's up, Mr. Frisch? Well, I just got a call from Dad, but he says he wants to make his famous flambeau with berry cheese. But he says he needs to stop at Grandma's restaurant and pick up the berry cheese. Oh, but Mr. Frisch, we're going to go to the park after we get the list done. Well, that's not a good one. But 
And it's like that episode of Disney earlier. It's about how Martin to get your chores done to how you take time to relax and play. If you're not just carry out a flat of sentiment. Oh man. Well, if Dad needs us to do it, we can do it. Well, I'm going to you. You're going to have to do it while I'm it. Ugh, this doesn't seem fair, you know. We want to go to the park after the pharmacy. Yeah, but Dad needs us, and he's always there for us. Hmm. What if we stop by the park on the way to Grandpa's restaurant? We could leave a little early, pick up blue cheese, and still be home on time. Well, I don't know. Dad did say we should get our chores done before we play. True, but as long as we get everything on the list, then what Dad doesn't know won't hurt him, right? Um, if you say so... And I do. Come on. The pharmacy's this way. Hey, Dad. It looks like he's sleeping. Yeah, but the store's open. Should we wake him up? Well, we need the allergy potion. I guess there's no other way. Okay. I'll try to shake him awake. Otto? 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 Wow! Where'd he go? I, I don't know. I'm over here! Whoa! Whoa. Yes, it is I, Otto the... <coughs> Magic Otter. Oh, excuse you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so how did you do that? Were you just sleeping on the counter? That's what I wanted you to think. I was testing out a new magic trick where I can be in two places. The only problem is the second me only sleeps. Uh, I don't think that's the only problem, Mr. Otto. Where is your beard? Beard? Beard, beard, beard. Oh, my beard! Here, it has to be somewhere. Phew, there it is. I was worried that I had lost it for good this time. Now, what can I do for you? Well, Mr. Otto, our Uncle Zorb is coming to town, and he really needs some allergy potions, or else his sneezes might blow the whole house down. Oh, Uncle Zorb. Why, I haven't seen that hairy ham in years. Why, his sneeze is so powerful, he might knock down the block if he put his mind to it. Yikes. That sounds scary, Mr. Otto. Nothing to fear as long as he has Otto's name brand allergy potion. Um... Name brand should do the trick. Thanks, Mr. Otto. We're in a hurry to get to the park. Don't let me keep you. Let me just whip up that potion for you. Bippity Sorry, warm up exercise. Anyway, Otto Kazam There, one month's supply of Otto's name brand. And don't worry about the bill, kids. I owe Zorby one anyway. Cool. Thanks, Mr. Otto. Come, Z. Ready to go to the park? Yeah, but we still have to get the boo cheese before the list is done. And Dad said that we have to get our chores done before we go out and play. Well, Dad is wise for saying that. When you have a responsibility or promise someone that you'll do something for them, it's important that you follow through on your word. See, Zap, I'm not so sure. Nonsense. As long as you get it done eventually, that's fine, right? Come on. The park is right along the way. Well, I don't know about that, Zap. Procrastination never helps me get anything done. Procrastination? Procrastination is when you have something really important to do, but you put it off until later because you don't want to do it. Soon you run out of time. Oh, okay. I think I get it. So if we go to the park before our chores are done, then we are procrastinating? Sounds like it. Oh, well I disagree. As long as it gets done, we should be able to have all the fun in the meantime. Come on, Z. We gotta get going. Oh. Okay, I guess. Well, thanks again, Mr. Otto. We'll see you later. Oh, all right. Be smart and careful, you two. And don't procrastinate. Hey, Zap. Could you please slow down for a sec? Why? Come on, Z. We're almost at the park. Well... I'm just thinking about what Otto said. Do we really want to procrastinate? Ugh, this again? Like I said, 
It doesn't matter if we go to the park first, if we only go for a little bit, right? Um, I'm not sure. Mr. Frisch said it was really important that we got the blue cheese in time. Trust me, Z. It'll only be fine. We'll only play for a few minutes, then head to the restaurant. You'll see. Mm, okay. If you say so. See, isn't this great? The weather is glooming, the moon is shining. Ah, to be outdoors. Yeah, this looks like a lot of fun, but we're only here a little bit, right? That's right. Hey, look, it's Beta and Poppy the Party Monster. Hey there. Hey, Zap. Z, what's going on? We're just here at the park to play for a bit. What about you two? Poppy is showing me a new dance, and it's so much fun. Here, you guys want to learn? I certainly do. What about you, Z? Well, won't that take a while? We have to get to Grandpa's restaurant soon. Nah, we can do it. It'll be really quick. Come on, let's have some fun, Z. Mm, okay. Just as long as it's quick. Let me check the time. Oh no! See, Zap, I told you! It's almost five o'clock. We spend too much time dancing here in the park. We better run to Grandpa's before Uncle Zorb gets to the train station. Oh no, you're right. Here, let's go now and see if we can make it still. Hey, thanks Poppy for teaching us that dance. Oh, no problem. I hope you get your chores done in time. Yeah, good luck, dear sir. Thanks. thanks, see, see you, you later. later. <sighs> Phew, we're here. And still a few minutes left to get to the train station. Go on in and grab the blue cheese. I'll wait out here and catch my breath. Okay, I'll be right back then. <laughs> Man, why can I never scrub this table clean? It keeps getting suction cup marks on it. Hi, Grandpa. Oh, what's it? What? Who's there? <laughs> Down here, Grandpa. Oh, hiya there, Z. Sorry, I was just scrubbing some tables here. What's going on, my dear? Well, I'm here to pick up some boo cheese because Uncle Zorb is coming to town and Dad said we needed some. Huh? What's that? No need to speak up, dear. I'm here to pick up boo cheese for- What? I said speak up, dear. Uh, I'm here to- What? Uncle Zorb is going to be in town and I need boo cheese. Okay, jeez. No need to shout. You can use your indoor voice, hon. But Uncle Zorb is visiting, huh? And he didn't even bother to tell his own father? Well, I might just have to drop by later and spook him then. Anyway, what did you say you need, dear? Blue cheese. What? Blue cheese! Whoa! Again with the shouting. Anyway, blue cheese coming right up. Man, I hope he's quick. It's almost five, and that's when Uncle Zorb arrives at the train station. Oh, I hope we don't miss him. Here you go, Z-Bear. One pound of fresh boo cheese. Oh, thanks, Grandpa. You're now, the... when I was your age, I used to get the boo cheese from the market. It was cold I... and you'd have to walk uphill both ways. You see, oh, Grandpa, it was I... the best of times and the worst as monster civilization dog. And Grandpa, now they I'm don't sorry. make it like they did in my day, no sir. Grandpa, I'm sorry. Uh, I really have to go now. Uncle Zorb could be waiting at the train station. Oh, well, don't let me keep you. You youngins are always in such a hurry, huh? I'll see you at dinner, dear. Thanks, Grandpa. Finally. Took you long enough in there. Well, you know Grandpa. He's always got something to say. You're right about that one. But hey, we better hurry if you want to catch Uncle Zorb. It's after five now. Oh no! Let's hurry! Okay, we're here! Let's see if we can find Uncle Zorb. Well, he's pretty tall. We should be able to pick him out easily. Um, there's no one here. Oh no, did we miss him? I'm not sure. Let's go check with the train clerk. Good thinking! The six o'clock for the North Pole is now boarding. The seven o'clock for... Excuse me. Uh, what? Um... Um, can't you see I'm in the middle of something? Um, um... Oh, I'm sorry. I just have a quick uh... question. Look, kid, I'd roll my eyes if I could. 
But like I said, I'm in the middle of announcements here. The 9 o'clock to the real Easter Island is postponed until- Excuse me, but announcements for who? We're the only ones here. <sighs> Fair enough, kid. What you need? We're looking for my Uncle Zorb. He was supposed to come in on the 5 o'clock train. Have you seen him? Kid, I may be able to literally watch what I say, but I don't have the slightest clue what your particular uncle looks like. Oh, well, he's heavy enough to shake a whole house, tall enough to dunk without jumping, and has thick fur and big feet. Splendid. What about you, kid? What's your uncle look like? Well, he's purple, has big eyes, and little horns. He was coming in from Atlantis, I think. Hmm, okay, I think I might have seen your monster. He was strolling on about some boo cheese or whatnot. That's him! That's Uncle Zorb! Which way did he go? I surely don't know, my dear. But he went right out that door. Oh no, Zip! Oh, we missed him! Maybe we played in the park too long. Oh, I'm really sorry, Z. I should have listened to you and Dad and done the chores first. Oh, that's sweet. Now leave my counter, please. Huh. Hey, thanks, Zip. I guess we know to do our chores first in the future. But for now, let's go. We gotta catch Uncle Zorb at home and deliver all this stuff. You're right, Z. Let's go. Hmm. Bye now. Hmm. So you think the prowl was canceled? What a shame. Oh. Hey, Dad. Oh, we made it. Ah. Z. Zap. A little later than expected, I see. Uncle Zorb beat you home. Oh, we're so sorry. We were on our way to Grandpa's restaurant, and we walked by the park, and... That's when I said we should stop by the park on our way instead of finish our chores first. I'm sorry, Dad. It was my fault that we were casting it and missed Uncle Zorb at the train station. Ah, uh, I see. I figured as much, but you look exhausted. I'm trusting you learned your lesson and won't put off chores in the future? You bet! You bet! Well, good. Uncle Zorb is just washing up and should be down shortly. I'm so excited that you finally get to meet him, Z. Yeah! I'm excited now, too! Oh, here he comes now. Well, hello there, young folks. I'm your... Uncle, Uncle Zorb. Zorb! That's right! Fresh off the train from the floor of Lake Michigan, Atlantis. And I'm pleased to meet both of you. Pleased to meet you too, Uncle Zorb. I'm Z. Well, I'm happy to finally get to meet you, Z. I've heard so much about you from your dad. <laughs> I try to stay busy. Hmm, I remember you, of course, Zap. But back then you were smaller than she is now. I'm a few years older now, that's for sure. It's good to see you again, Uncle Zorb. Likewise. Now, Dad said something about boo cheese, and that is my favorite. Yeah, we have it right here, Uncle Zorb. And Grandpa said he's going to stop by, too. Oh, did he now? Well, good. He can help me in the kitchen. Why don't you guys go catch up, and I'll get started making dinner. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Thanks, little brother. Kids, why don't we go and play outside? Okay. okay. Let me just grab my jacket. Zizi, Uncle Zorb is really nice. Not scary at all. Yeah, you're right. Just because a monster is scary on the outside, that doesn't mean he's scary on the inside. Exactly. Now come on, let's head outside before Dad ropes us into helping him with dinner. <laughs> 